we have a current account with a balance. When we want to process a payment, we'll try and pay the other account. We need to make sure they have more than that amount in their account. And if they don't, then we'll raise an exception. And then we want to make sure we don't have race conditions so they don't make lots of payments before they're processed. We debit their account and then we try and settle it. And if it doesn't settle, then we refund it to their account. We have a thousand pounds. We try and pay 50 pounds, but the settlement fails and raise a settlement error. So we refund it back to their account. So we end up with still a thousand pounds at the end. Let's pretend it does an API call and it's successful and successfully goes in, in the other account. Then when we make a payment, it goes down to 950. If we make 10 payments, we go down from a thousand to 500. Let's try to make 30 payments. It won't make them. Management comes along and says, we want to discourage small payments, try to keep the money in the account. We subclass current account and we override the pay method and say, if the amount is less than the minimum payment, then we won't do it. Settlement error will be raised. The account will be redebited with the money and we carry on as normal. We're gonna pay another account 150 pounds. So we start off with a balance of a thousand and we end with 850. Management's really happy. Let's put it into production. Somebody decides to make a payment of 50. They start with a balance of 1,000. They try to pay 50 and they end up with a balance of 1050. And this person goes, hmm, this is interesting. Let me make some more payments. So they start with a balance of 1,000. They make 10 payments and now they have 1,500 pounds. So what we've accidentally done is created a sampo a 3D printer that can print flour, salt, and money. This is Vaynermonen, who Tolkien-based Gandalf on, and he's fighting the baddies over the Sampo. Everyone wants the Sampo. If you're paying attention, you might have noticed the mistake. There are actually many ways to fix this problem, but the bug isn't really about missing checks or exception handling. The core of it is the wrong inheritance relationship. Savings account isn't really a kind of current account. It's a different kind of account with these stricter limits. By inheriting, it promised to behave the same and it couldn't because we tightened the rules and it break the expectations that the parents set. So savings account cannot stand in for current account. So savings account shouldn't inherit from a current account. They should be siblings instead and there should be a, a base account that they both inherit from. And this is an example of breaking what's called the Liskov substitution principle, which says if S is a subtype T, then objects of type T in a program may be replaced with objects of type S without altering any of the desired desirable properties of that program, e.g. correctness. So subtypes must be replaceable for their base types without altering the correctness of the program. Or in simple words, if a subclass can't fully play the role of its parent, it shouldn't inherit from it. That's why there should be a base account over savings account and current account. They each have their own checks and expectations.